Now, being an Asian student is a big thing to us. In fact, I think most of our history textbooks, most of our syllabus is sort of geared towards creating some kind of unity in our society. Whether or not we've achieved that is up to personal opinion. But I think it cannot be denied on how important it is. You know, coming to Taylor's was a big change for me. I moved away from home. It was the first time I was living on my own. And um, I think the unity in my class, the unity that I saw in this college community is really what kept me strong, gave me the motivation to study, um, gave me the ability to sort of come to college every day and face something new. So unity extends far more than just what um, racial background segregates us and such. It actually extends to, you know, your, your community in terms of where you live, your classmates, you know, even in your own family and how united your family front is. Um, as young people, as college students, you're going to face a lot of challenges. If you're sitting A level, you're going to face more than just challenges. Um, but um, going through all these things, I think it's unity that will keep you going and will keep you strong. Now, ways to promote unity, I think, is just sort of finding common ground with people, linking up with people, and just sort of realizing that we all have something in common. Uh, that's basically what creates the united front. Also, uh, making the effort to reach out to people who you think are sort of maybe a bit more different from you, or maybe you don't have as much in common, but still taking that effort and that time to sort of understand their viewpoint. You know, just earlier, uh, Farah was saying how she didn't understand so much about Chinese people, but I think coming to Taylor's, she sort of understands that we're pretty much all the same. So in conclusion, I'd like to say that unity is something that you just cannot underestimate, value it, appreciate it, and make an effort to make it a part of your life.